there's still guys out there, you know. Patrick Line. He's, why don't why don't we get into the line a conversation? There. So this week, some good news for him. Uh, he got cleared by the player assistance program, um, which he had been in since last season. Um, and line a has, you know, for a long time now, been dealing with a lot of mental health health stuff uh, on and off the ice. There was that um, ridiculous incident last year where a Blue Jackets podcast made a joke about it, and line a turned it into a good cause and helped get some donations for a mental health program that's in his name. Um, so good news to see him cleared out of that program. Uh, and then it also came out uh, shortly before then that uh, Columbus is willing to trade him for prospects and picks. And Friedman later added once he was cleared by the um, by the NHLPA uh, that teams that were interested in line A, they're free to contact him directly. Um, just to see, you know, how he's doing and how he would view, I guess, you know, assume assuming you know, how he would want to or how he thinks he he would fit in in a certain environment. So, look, man, top six player, public address saying that though he'll go for prospects and picks. Dude, it is literally the lowest of the lowest hanging fruit. It's just just reach out and grab it. As long as he wants to come here, I mean, I get it. Maybe maybe. Lindy sees something where you know he doesn't like that he's not a very good defensive I'm sick of forward. Saying, I'm sick of saying that, like, oh, he wouldn't be a good forward, like, or like he wouldn't like him. No, uh, like I just don't like I don't like when people just like see a player like that, like, ah, Lindy wouldn't like him. Like, I don't know about that. I, I think I, my thing. There's two things here. A league perception might be he's more of a reclamation project, so it's not. It might be a situation where teams don't want to give up picks and prospects um and b it it is it's a huge cap hit i mean i like line a and i think he's done i think he's really like rebuilt himself in columbus i mean he had like a really under the radar good two-way season two seasons ago um he's not the same player he was in winnipeg but he's not an 8.7 million dollar player and for me i would need retention on that deal yeah. Probably down to like six million dollars, and that could be. I mean, that might be off the table for Columbus, but I, I, I really like. I can't pay, not especially now with the cap. <laughs> I say this now, even though the Sabers have a ton of cap space, eight point seven million dollars for a player that might not work out. Um, it would be a big risk, but I am for the idea. I, I think he, you know, he he fits the need. You know, he's not. I think. There's other ideas I'm probably still higher on, like like the Zegers idea. Um, you know, the Sabers have a lot of plus shooters already, and Line A would add to that, which isn't a bad thing, but it's more of the same. Um, but I, I, I'm still for this idea if you can do it at the right price tag. Yeah, absolutely. Retention, definitely. How many years does he have left on his contract? I think three more. Three Ooh. more at eight point seven. So yeah, okay. it's kind of like you, a little heavy. Yeah, you have to be careful with it. Um, if you're they, taking that deal on, could they do deals where um they could retain maybe in the first season and then do you come off the books or is I that don't, like, I don't I don't think deals like that are allowed. It'd be nice. I it mean, it would be nice. You know, benefits both sides, <laughs> makes a player more attractive to be moved. Two seasons. You know? uh, I'll correct myself. Two okay. seasons. I mean, yeah, it's it's not terrible. It's it's a short term deal, and you know, it's a guy who legitimately could play in your top six. I am not opposed to that. You know, there, there might be some people who sign the checks that might be opposed to something like that, but this team needs to be good now. And I, I reiterate, Kevin Adams' job is on the line. You can't go into this season with question marks in your top six. I wouldn't stake my reputation on that. Yeah, it's it's an intriguing idea, and we'll see where it goes. Because it, I don't know, it feels like another one. It would be weird if he started the season in in Columbus. If he, you know, he probably really wants to change the scenery. Um, so we'll we'll see where he goes. I know a team like S- Seattle was like really connected to him because uh, they just need scores bad, but they kind of spent the most amount of money in free agency. So I feel like they're out of it. Uh, Utah would be interesting because they have a lot of cap space, and I feel like that's. Also, a type of goal scorer they really don't have on hand. So, and I was just all like Montreal fans thinking that maybe he could be a fit for them. So, I don't know. It 
there's there are probably a, a number of teams interested, but um, I doubt there's a bidding war with that contract because, like I said, I like Lion A. Uh, he's not an eight point seven million dollar player. Montreal's busy handing out money to below average defensemen right now. <laughs> I don't think I don't think they have their eyes set on Patrick Line at the moment. <laughs> 